Okay, if you're into adventure, underwater treasure hunting, beach prospecting or gold prospecting, this is the channel for you. So click subscribe right now and don't miss a thing. All right, now let's get just straight into it. Okay, just gearing up now for the Sulawesi trip. So I've got me pans, snuffer bottles, sniping bottle. Got me little river snows with some of that matting in it that's in one of my videos. I'll put the links in. Some other miner's moss. Digging tools. This is a good little set I got at Bunnings in Australia for scratching out crevices for um, sniping. Got my little underwater kit. Pin pointer and the mighty Monster 1000. And that's just a small kit just to go up and have a bit of a prospect, have a look around, see what there is. And uh, if we can find the source, We'll be uh, taking a high banker up there and doing some serious sluicing. Okay. Okay, I've condensed it all down into two packs. My detector and my pans. And my little kit. And then my uh, sluicing gear. Digging gear. And it's about 11 kilos, so that's all right. Ready to fly. Check in. Corona masks and all. <laughs> Off to Sulawesi. Flight two. <laughs> South East Sulawesi. Alright, dinner on the way home from the airport. We're getting chicken, lullapan, it's called chicken and rice. Well, we made it. It's pissing down rain. It's been raining for days, apparently. So if it's too wet, I hope the rivers aren't too high. We won't be able to prospect nothing. We got us a little motel room for 10 bucks a night. Anyway, we we moved to this joint. It's absolutely massive. The other flea-bitten hotel we stayed at was full of ice heads and hookers and the towels are wet and it was terrible. So we booked and moved. Okay, we're on the road with wifey and my brother-in-law. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and uh, we're in the truck and we're heading, I don't know which direction, but we're heading somewhere. Yeah. There's the old Australian nomad. Yes. A statue there. Okay, we're in the great big military base now. It's a massive complex, thousands of hectares. And we're waiting for one of the big boss captains to come or colonels to come and let us in. And he's going to let us have a prospect around on some of their rivers out back where they do their training. So we've got to wait for him to turn up now and uh, head to the river. We found these trees here and there's just nuts everywhere and they're almonds. <laughs> Let's try and open one up there. <laughs> this, this one's, yeah, you're right. You see the almond inside there? It's a nut, they dry them, and, but they're just laying everywhere. There's thousands of them over there. Alright. Yeah. Enak? Enak. <laughs> good. Tastes good. Like almond. It is almond, yeah. So he's going to take us there all the way to the river. All right. Yes. Alright, we've got our escort. And of us taking us there. There's the jungle in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Let me get through, it's pretty wet and boggy from all the rain. We stop here. Alright, this is it. We're gonna walk in. Getting close to the river, I can hear something. Alright, this is an old Japanese wall bunker. Alright, this is the bunker. I'm not gonna bother detecting it because in the concrete there's a lot of steel, as you know. So. goes in and right down there. Is there a torch in the bag, Uli? No, uh, we can't find a flashlight. Didn't bring it. Oh, here it goes down and flattens out around the corner. 
I'd say there'd be a network of tunnels here. Looks yes. like there's another one over here. A hump there. There's one down there in the jungle near the river. They probably come out in the river actually. And uh, anyway, head to the river. Wow, here's the river. There's a lot of water running here. It's normally just a trickle. Maybe too much water, I'd say, after all the rain. There's a few gravel banks, which might be all right. Have a scratch. A bit of sand. You really got to do it in the dry season when there's no water. There's probably no use even detecting it. Maybe scratch a few pans. Might even be too high to even get down across the river. Yeah, it is. Look how big it is. It's normally just a little trickle. Yeah, it's like a couple of metres deep, probably in the middle. There's more Japanese bunkers on the other side, they said. There's <laughs> yearly trying to get through the river. Don't drop your phone in there. We found a shallow spot. It's only a couple of feet deep. <laughs> There's another Japanese bunker up in here. We're going to have a look at. Oh yeah, it's a big one. All right, here's another bunker here. Wow, they really went to a lot of effort, the Japs in the war, didn't they? Hey. This one was there. This one's been filled in. Probably still got ordnance in here. Look how thick the concrete was on top. There's like about five, six metres of concrete on top of it. Make it bomb proof. They filled it in. It's probably still got live ammunition in it. There's another cave up top there, if you can see the little cave. Wow, them old chaps, they eh, bloody... Look, they've dug this whole hillside out to hide this in here. Saying so some of these tunnel entrances actually come up into the river where they're hiding. The Vietnamese did the same in the war. He's part of another bunker. Where they bombed it, yeah, there's heaps of ruins around where they bombed the bunkers. It's huge, it's actually just a huge concrete bunker, about four metres of concrete thick. And then they just buried it with dirt. Oh, look, there's another big one up top, a big gun turret or something up top. Don't know whether you can see it. We'll go up there. Wow, check out this. It looks like it's on a base. So it's probably a swiveling gun turret, a massive one. Yeah, it's all concrete right to here. So it's probably at least six metres thick. It looks like there's a lot of smooth river stone. They've covered it up with stones. And uh, just keep it hidden from the Indonesians and the Americans, Australians. Yeah. What this? Water is it for? I don't know. Is there a big gun turret? Oh yeah. Water. Maybe it's a big water tank, but I don't know why it's a water tank if they have the river there. <laughs> but why? It's probably just a big lookout tower area. And underneath it is solid concrete. But if you look on the other side, it definitely swivels. So I'd say it was a big gun turret, probably had a cannons in it. Very interesting, found a little seam of quartz up here. They built a brick wall right on top of it. 
So if there's quartz up here, there could be gold up here, which is promising for the river down below. Anyway, there's a lot of sand being washed over in these latest floods and shit, so we'll have a look up and down the river. Oh shit, I'm getting too old for this crap. Have a look up and down the river and uh, see what we might have to come back in the dry season and really dig it out, all the fresh sand that's moved over the, the bedrock. We've just found another one here on our way out a different way that he didn't know was here. It looks like uh, and another, oh there's another bunker here look. Wow another bunker here. It's exactly the same as the other one goes right down and then to the right. I wonder how big the network of tunnels is here probably massive could be kilometers of tunnels works here I'm sure the military already been through it all here's another bunker here wow they're everywhere and there's some more down in the gully there <laughs> out of luggage isn't he but wow there's everywhere it's a massive storage area or something why they build it out here in the middle of nowhere is another bunker that goes in and down. They're all the same. They all go in and, and then go to the right and down further. I think this was formed by island because you can see this part. Right, yeah. And the ruins over there. Right. I think the island was bombed this island. Oh, they probably would have bombed it, yeah. You see how it's all the concrete's broken on the top. He says it's been bombed there, so that's why it's broken. Here's the river down here. We head back down towards the river. Very interesting. All right, been trudging up this river for about an hour. I've left you early and that way, way behind there. There's just fresh sand and everything, little banks and heaps of rubbish all the way down. It's all cross airs, so you can see all fresh sand being washed down. They've had ma massive floods here in the last few weeks. So there's just no use even digging and prospecting in here at all. You can see it's all fresh mud, all fresh sand. We'll have to come back right in the dry season and dig a fair bit of it out, I suppose. <laughs> 